Today we're bringing you a corporate profile on Pluristem Therapeutics, a company that is developing off-the-shelf placenta-derived cell therapy products for a spectrum of inflammatory and ischemic conditions. Let's go to Dr. Corinne Kleinhaus, Pluristem's Divisional Vice President North America, to learn more about the company's technology, active clinical programs, and partnerships. Pluristem is developing an off-the-shelf placenta-derived cell therapy product which can be used to treat a variety of diseases. Our market cap is about $200 million and we have $59 million in cash and marketable securities as of June 2014 and we have 170 employees which is making us the largest company in the space at this time. Investment highlights for our company include the fact that we've completed two phase one two trials which have meaningful results uh, suggesting both efficacy and safety for our products. Uh, we are first in class with three-dimensional technology to grow our cells um, and this allows us to grow the cells efficiently and also to develop different cell products from the same placental source, allowing us to really diversify and address uh, many different markets. Our facility, our manufacturing facility, is both FDA and European Union approved, uh, making it the only one uh, in our space which has achieved this. Uh, and this is really important because going forward, we're able to supply both our trials and we can scale up to 150,000 doses a year, allowing us to be ready to supply uh, first stages of commercialization uh, if our products were to be approved. We have active programs in four clinical spaces, cardiovascular, orthopedic, lung disease, a specific lung disease called pulmonary arterial hypertension, as well as a pregnancy indication. We have a very, very strong IP ownership with 30 patents granted and over 120 pending, and we have a very experienced management team with a strong strategic vision for the company. Our technology is actually pretty straightforward to explain. What we do is we take cells from placentas that have been donated to us after cesarean section and we bring the cells to our facility, our manufacturing facility, where they undergo extensive testing uh, for quality and for purity. The cells are then uh, grown, expanded within our three-dimensional bioreactors, which are very uh, unique and proprietary. And this allows us, within these bioreactors, to both expand the cells very efficiently and to create different products in very precise and controlled manner. Um, the cells, once they are uh, completed, they're frozen and they can be stored uh, for a minimum of 18 months. And then they can be injected with a simple syringe into a patient without the need for tissue matching. And once in the patient, the cells stay in the muscle where they've been injected and when they sense chemical signals from damaged tissues in the body, they secrete a whole range of therapeutic proteins that stimulate the body to heal itself using its own uh, standard mechanisms. We are active in four clinical areas right now. The first space is the cardiovascular range of diseases. We're focusing on peripheral artery disease. Uh, in this disease, blood flow to the legs is blocked by cholesterol buildup. And there are two subsets of the disease. The first is called IC, where it becomes more and more painful to walk as the blood flow reduces to the leg. And the second is called CLI, where the blood flow is so limited that the tissue breaks down in the leg and can lead to gangrene and amputation. The uh, first IC, the first stage, has a $6 billion global market, and the second stage, the CLI, has a $12 billion global market. And those who've been diagnosed with the advanced stage of CLI, about half of them will have either death or amputation by one year from diagnosis. The second clinical space we're active in is the orthopedic space. We completed a very positive phase two trial uh, we announced the top-line data in January of 2014. Uh, in this trial, we looked at muscle injury after total hip replacement surgery. So during the surgery, a muscle is cut and injured. And after the surgery, uh, if it doesn't heal properly, people can have limps or instable gait. In this trial, a surgeon either injected a placebo or our cells into the damaged muscle. And six months later, we measured the strength of the muscle having given it time to repair. And what we found was that the muscle that had received our cells was 500% stronger, could press 
on a machine and show 500% greater force than the patients who had received a placebo. And this was very statistically significant and unlikely to be due to chance. And this was a, a fabulous result for us. We're springboarding from this into trials for rotator cuff repair. And we're hoping to begin this trial or to receive approval to begin the trial at some point next year. Our third clinical area is, is pulmonary arterial hypertension. And we've partnered that out with United Therapeutics. They are running currently this trial of phase one in Australia, and we just recently announced that the uh, company has finished dosing the first cohort and is proceeding to dose a higher, uh, at a larger dose, the second cohort in this trial. And we anticipate to get data from this trial, or at least top line data, um, in the first half of 2015. The last area that we are active in, which is a, actually a very exciting one, is preeclampsia, which is one of the leading killers of pregnant women in the United States. Uh, this uh, disease has no cure and it could come on early in pregnancy. And the only way to save the mother is to, in cases of severe preeclampsia, is to remove the baby. And this can result in babies that are coming out at one and a half or two pounds and require months and months of intensive care at $50,000 a week for the first. Uh, several weeks of care for babies that come out at 26 or 27 or 28 weeks of pregnancy. There's a lot of interest uh, by payers. There's no cure, and we're excited to proceed to clinical trials. Uh, we're expecting or hoping to begin early next year um, based and building on the very positive uh, preclinical animal data that we've collected. The total potential market size for our current pipeline is $27.5 billion. And we also have additional preclinical work uh, in other areas, which we um, may develop at some point in the future. We have several uh, very attractive partnerships. The first one is with United Therapeutics, where we received a $7 million upfront payment. And the total agreement can be worth up to $55 million in milestone payments, as well as royalties if the product goes to market. The second partnership with, is with Cha Bio, a billion dollar market cap company based in South Korea. They will be running phase two and phase three trials for us in our cardiovascular indications. And if the products go to market, we will form a 50-50 joint pre, uh, venture and share in 50% of the profits. Our third partnership with, with the U.S. federal government, they are running multiple trials with our cells to evaluate them as a potential treatment for acute radiation syndrome, which is what um, people can get after a nuclear disaster or terrorist attack, and which can be lethal. The three attractive partnerships are really votes of confidence for the kinds of cells that we are producing and the way we produce them. Our cells are off the shelf which means there's no tissue matching required to use them. They can be taken at the point of care by a physician and uh, injected into the muscle of a patient with a regular syringe. And this makes them uh, a very easy and uh, widely usable type of a product. We produce these cells in three-dimensional bioreactors, which are unique and very uh, strongly protected by our IP. The bioreactors allow us to grow these cells very efficiently, about 70 times more efficiently than the standard uh, methods that are used today. It allows us to completely control the process, which means that we can carefully and consistently make the same products, and we can develop uh, in our bioreactor our same source cells into different products, uh, all of which is uh, very important for building uh, a biotechnology therapeutics company. And in our facility, we are able to make 150,000 doses a year using this state-of-the-art new technology. We're really excited about where we are now and looking forward to the next steps in our company's development. If you want to learn more about Pluristem Therapeutics, you can visit the company's website at pluristem.com. Their ticker is PSTI, and they trade on the NASDAQ. I'm Anna Maria Chen, and you're watching Corporate Profile.